Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new Pat McGrath Opulence Collection. So if you want to hear my thoughts on it, then just keep watching. <laughs> Usually, Pat McGrath ships to my house super fast, but for some reason, it didn't this time. Um, and you guys have been bothering me about doing this review, and it is finally, finally here. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, the collection comes with three six-pan eyeshadow palettes, and then six lipsticks as well. For each eyeshadow palette, there is a matching lipstick duo, which you can buy together or separately. Each palette is sold separately for $55, and each lipstick duo is sold for $65 separately. Or you could get all three of the eyeshadow palettes for $125. Or if you get the eyeshadow palette with the corresponding lipstick, that's going to be $110. And then if you get everything, that's going to be $300. So there's a lot of different options, which I think is super duper cool. But um, yeah, so I'm going to start off with the eyeshadows first and then I'm going to do the lipsticks in the second half of this review. So if you don't already know, um, if you're new to my channel, Pat McGrath is my favorite brand ever. It is so expensive, but their products are so amazing. I love Pat McGrath. I love her makeup. I love her work. I just love everything about her brand. So every time she comes out with something, I try and pick it up, especially with these collections because her packaging is beautiful. So we're going to talk about the three eyeshadow palettes. They're the mini motherships. She's already come out with three other ones and these are her new three and I loved the last three. So of course I had to get the new three. Now these are actually made in the USA as opposed to her big eyeshadow palettes which are made in Italy. I think because of the packaging difference, the fact that it is made in the US allows these palettes to be cheaper. So I don't think you compromise the eyeshadow quality based on where it's made. I think it's more to do with the packaging and less fees because it's made in the USA. So the first eyeshadow palette we have here is the Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation. So it has this beautiful red packaging with a lot of gold details and all of these ruby pictures. And then you open it up and it reveals six shadows. This one I think is the most holiday themed one. It has that red and it has this green color. I'm so excited to use this green color. But also these top two colors here are duochromes. This has like almost a yellow green shift to it and this color right here has a pink yellow shift to it. And you know what looks crazy? It looks really pink right now on the camera. But based on my view right here it looks very bronzy. So it is such a cool duochrome shadow. Now I will say in all of these three palettes, they do not have any of the glitter formula that I love Pat McGrath for. Pat McGrath has a stunning glitter formula in her big palettes. None of these palettes have that, so I'm just going to give you a forewarning here now. But that doesn't mean these aren't beautiful formulas. Like I said, she does have beautiful duochromes in this, some eyeshadows with bits of glitter in it, but it is not that super microfine glitter formula. Which is kind of disappointing because that's my favorite formula ever, but I still am very happy with how this palette looks. So this one is nice because you have a matte neutral shade. That's what I use as my normal crease color today. And then you have a deeper color. So this one I think is the more wearable of the three while also having these unique shades as well. So this one is really pretty and I think of the three it's the most versatile. Then we have the Mothership Subversive Metal Morphosis palette. It's the one with the pink packaging. So you open it up and this one is interesting because it is all really metallic colors. There isn't any flat shades to it so it could be very difficult to make a look with this palette. Now I am going to do a tutorial using each of these palettes within the next two weeks so stay tuned for that. So if you want to see how I can create a look using each of these palettes individually, Make sure you subscribe so you can see those. These two colors right here are super silky and buttery and they're super metallic. This shade right here is one of the most reflective shades I've ever seen. It's the one that's right in the middle of my lid right now. I am obsessed with it. And then we also have this shade right here. It's not a super reflective shade, but it is shimmery and it has little glitter particles to it. It's what I use today in my inner and outer lid and it almost looks blue. It's very shimmery on the lid. You can see the glitter particles. I had a little bit of fallout with application but honestly it's really not too bad. It doesn't look as deep on the lid as it does in the pan but I think this one is going to be interesting to try and create a look with. Every single shadow in this palette is really buttery smooth except for this one. This one isn't buttery smooth but it is very pigmented and works very well but the rest of these have have absolutely insane pigmentation. This eyeshadow palette is the Mothership Subliminal 
Dark Star eyeshadow palette. Now you open it up, and this one I'm so excited for. Unfortunately, this one got injured on the drive over here, and half of this shade is gone. This palette is for those of you who love smoky eyes. I did use the black today all along my crease and my lower lash line. It isn't a matte black. It definitely has a bit of a sheen to it, which I don't personally love. I would have just preferred a more flat black matte, but I mean, it is still very pretty. Uh, it blended out very well. It's not the best black I've used because ironically, the best black I've used is by Pat McGrath and this one just, <laughs> it's not this one in particular, but it still looks beautiful. You have a gorgeous, chakra gray color and then you know this is the color I'm about to use in the tutorial that I do with this. This is the most beautiful purple blue duochrome. I just want to put it all over my eyelid. It kind of reminds me of the new Katie Desi palette, one of the colors from there, but I will look more into that. So I think of the three, this one has the most unique color selection. Really pretty. Formulation wise, this is pretty intact with the other Mothership mini palettes. Very good quality, very blendable, a lot of very metallic and reflective colors, which I personally love, and it really forces you to get creative. So I really am enjoying these palettes. I can't wait to do separate looks for each of these. I think you guys will really enjoy them. I will say though, compared to last year's, I do think I prefer last year's. There's also a purple pink one that is in my drawer, but I think I prefer last year's color schemes a little more to this year's. I think they make more sense. Personally, I just like how the ones from last year, they had more a corresponding theme within the palette. I feel like this year the color schemes aren't as much of a theme. Like the color theme doesn't scream out to me when I open the palette. Yeah, you have a beautiful individual colors, but I feel like they don't, they aren't as cohesive as the other palettes. That being said, that can be a good thing. That forces you to be creative, but just to the average eye, the colors aren't as cohesive as the other ones. But that being said, these palettes are still beautiful. I'm not knocking it. I'm just, that's just something that I noticed. But anyways, formulation on these, 10 out of 10. My eyes are really irritated right now because I just did like five different looks messing around with the shadows to make sure I've tried everything. And I'm, I mean, she, she did it again. She really, truly, truly did it again. All right, so let's talk about the lipstick sets. Now, they come in this super cute little box, and then you have to unwind it and open it, and then it's going to reveal the actual lipsticks. Now, the packaging of the lipsticks are the same Pat McGrath packaging that she uses. However, they just are in colors to correspond with the collection that they are in. Each of the three sets features a red shade and then a nude shade. So I'm going to show you the swatches right here. And I want you to tell me if you notice something. Is it just me or do most of the colors look the same? So here's the thing. I want you guys to look at the swatches. And is it just me or do the swatches look suspiciously similar? The nudes kind of look the same to me and then the reds kind of look the same. So really quickly here are all of the nudes swatched together. This is from the red, this is the pink, and this is the blue. The red and the blue are very, very similar. The one that's pink is slightly lighter. However, I did put this one on my lips and this one on the top, and the difference was ever so subtle. And these two literally just looked exactly the same on my lips. So if you're buying the red set, just know that the blue nude is identical. And they're not the same shade names. They're different. Oh, by the way... Just so you know, these are the Matte Trance Formula. Um, it's what I have on my lips right now. They are such a comfortable, beautiful matte. They don't dry out my lips. The three reds. Now, as you can see, there are subtle differences. This one's a little bit more pink. This one's a little bit more cool toned red and this one is more of a berry. So this is the red set, this is the pink set, and this is the blue set. So I think the red set and the pink set have a suspiciously similar color to them to wear on the lips. You really can't tell too much of a difference. Now this one is actually quite different from the other two, but what puts me in a dilemma is if you get the red set, you're getting these two, but it has a similar nude to the blue and it has a similar red to the pink. So if you buy the red and the pink 
or the red and the blue, at one point there's going to be one kind of very similar color. I hope that made sense, but formulation wise, these are the Matte Trance Formula. They are beautiful, they are really comfortable on the lips, they are very, very pigmented, and they are very long wearing. My goodness. They are very long wearing. A beautiful, beautiful formula, but I'm telling you now, you do not need all three dang lipstick sets because they are too similar. If you want a set of lipsticks, I honestly would only recommend that you buy one because after that, it gets pretty repetitive. So if you have a more deep skin tone, I would recommend getting the blue set, which is called the Aquamarine Duo. If you have a light skin tone or very fair, I would recommend you get the Pink Sapphire Duo because it has the lightest nude and the brightest red. I think a pretty neutral in between the one that's not the darkest and not the lightest is the Ruby Duo. However, in each set you're getting a red and a nude and if you get any, honestly, they're all kind of going to look the same in some way, shape, or form. Which, I don't know, I feel like they should have known better. Like, they shouldn't make complete different lip sets. I don't know. I always think it's important to have a red and to have a nude, but if you get the whole collection like I did, I just feel like I have a bunch of repeats, to be honest. But the packaging is gorgeous, so... At least there's that. Anyways, so that was my review of the Opulence collection. Overall, it's a really beautiful collection. And again, Pat, you did not disappoint me. I think, of course, as always, the eyeshadows are definitely where it's at. If you are a smoky eye lover, I recommend you pick up the Dark Star one. And if you're looking for the most wearable palette of the three, I would definitely recommend you get the Bronze Temptation because it does have everyday colors here, but it also has colors that definitely let you play. And even the ones that do seem very normal, they are quite unique. I really like this. This is the one palette that you can really easily create an everyday look with that is complete. Now, though the Metamorphosis palette is my least favorite, these, I think formulation-wise, have the best formula of the three just because most of these shadows are very, very creamy. It's just it's difficult to create a full look with it, but the formulation of these metal shadows are absolutely stunning. So, though this is my least favorite, it still has a very special place in my collection because the formula of this is insane. Lipsticks, the formulation is absolutely beautiful, very consistent with her regular lipstick line. Honestly, some of these are actually in her regular line, but these are way cuter packaging. But you don't need all three. I mean, whichever set you get, you're going to be very happy with it just because the differences are so subtle between the three. So definitely... Listen to my recommendations earlier of which one you should pick up, but they all are quite lovely. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Pat McGrath Opulence Collection. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see my individual tutorials using each of these palettes and also each of the lipstick. And I will be sure to get back to you in the next video. Bye! Have a great day!